Hey everybody, today I'm going to be swapping out my Acherbis plastic skid plate for an Enduro engineering aluminum one. The reason being, I was out riding last week and I had a rock come up under the bike and you can see the gash right here. It literally come up, the rock hit the gash and it literally pulled the plastic skid plate come out over top of this bolt and it literally ripped it off and it was dangling. I would have lost it but I run a brake snake cable and I had it attached to the front of it up here right down here and it was just dangling on the bike kind of flopping around like this otherwise I would have lost it and probably not even known it but uh, it did its job. I mean, the bike didn't uh, take any damage up in the bottom of the motor or anything like that. You can see there's the back side of it. And I mean, there is daylight. It's hard to see, but uh, it did go the whole way through and this is ripped the whole way through. So, uh, that scared me a little bit. I mean, this has, been a, this has been on the bike since 2017 when I bought it new and this is 2020. So I'm going to make the switch on my other dual sports. I have the aluminum skid plates, the Enduro Engineering. So why well, Ricochet and I think they're Ricochet, but I'm throwing the Enduro Engineering on this one. Uh, I got it here and I'll show it to you in a second. <coughs> this is the now this is a this is for a KTM 350 EXCF of 2017. Uh, here's the Ricochet. Uh, this is how it comes or not Ricochet, excuse me, Enduro Engineering, sorry about that, E, 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 E. Uh, this is how it looks. There's the side. Uh, and what it is, it comes like this. Now, you have to bolt this. I already bolted this on, this little hook. Uh, there's the two hex bolts, counter sunk that you got to, you thread them into this little piece right here. You got to get that started, and that will go in and hook up over your frame and then uh, you'll bolt it through here. Now uh, I'm going to show you here on a 350 EXCF you have two factory nut certs in the frame that will bolt right here. You can put your bolt right in that hole and bolt it up. Now if you don't have that bike, this bike, this, this plate fix, fits the SXFs and the XCFs. What they do for those, let me find it here, is they give you a bar that will go behind your frame in front of your motor and in there you'll put two of these. If you have those, they give you two other bolts right here that will go through right here and they will thread into this bar and that will tighten up and clamp against your frame is how that will go on but I don't need to do that being I have a 350 EXCF so I'll kind of get this camera set up down here and we'll see what happens. Okay. Gonna get down on the concrete here. This actually feels good today because here in Pennsylvania it's about 90 degrees and the humidity is way up. Kind of sucks. Okay. I got this piece that I'm gonna hook up over the frame. Oh, you know what I want to show you folks? They give you this foam tape in a roll and what you do is you hold the skid plate up kind of mark where it's going to lay against the frame then you take this sticky tape you peel it on, you put it on uh, you got to peel this off the one side, that's sticky you put it on the frame, down the rail, under, across, because anywhere that this thing touches, if you don't do that, you're going to get vibration or like weird resonation uh, coming up through your 
frame. So that slides over the back frame rail. That's not tightened yet. You let that have some play in it. And on the 350, you just got to put it up. Now, they give you new bolts. This frame already has these little black ones in it, if you can see that. I took those out. I'm going to put their bolts in. And you probably want to put some thread locker on here. I don't have it with me right now. But for the sake of the video, I'm putting these in. I will get some on them. I'm just going to get it tightened up here and snugged. Now you may, if you have a 350 XCF, you may want to put some small countersunk bolts in here with a nut on the back to maybe hide those holes. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to snug these bottom ones up. And this skid plate does have uh, drain holes and access points for, for your oil. And you can even get up through your uh, rear oil drain plug and get on that with a wrench and get it out. This skid plate is pretty easy to take on and off though. I will probably just pop it on and off when I change the oil. Because you only got to loosen the tube. Take these two bolts out and loosen these up slightly and it will drop right off. You probably want to put some Loctite even on these. This skid plate does also have, if you have an SXF or an XCF, down below here toward the back, there are two threaded inserts uh, for a linkage guard, which is nice, but I have no linkage. So it doesn't help me out. Okay. It's bolted up. I'll kind of show you the coverage here. Get the camera off. Okay. So what we got there, I mean it right here, it sticks out past your water pump. See how it fits on the front. Uh, that's looking down, of course, this little flap comes back and in toward your motor. Underneath. There, of course, is your, you got your drain holes and here's the one for the the rear drain which you can reach up through but I will probably just pop the the whole plate off anyhow let me show you the other side there's a the coverage on the other side comes up now you see I have these Acherby's guards here I have these plastic Acherby's case guards on and it is, there is, you could maybe slide a piece of paper down through there against that. So I'm going to have to watch, I may have to put something against there if it starts vibrating. Or maybe grind a little bit of it off. But we'll see. There's kind of a side profile for you. And you can see from the top, there's the access hole for the rear drain plug. So it's a pretty good setup. But now I feel a little more confident other than the the Acherbys. Uh It worked good for the time that I had it on there. So we'll see how this does. Remember to like and subscribe and get on the bike and get outside. I'll see everybody next time.